Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy, and thank you for tuning in. I'm a bit short on time this week because life, but I still wanted to produce a video. Something quick, something fun, something interesting, at least in my opinion. We all know that steroids can help you build more muscle and strength than going the natural drug-free route, but just how much more muscle and strength can a steroid user actually gain compared to their drug-free counterpart over a set period of time? This video tackles that question for the curious minds in the audience by examining a study that was just published. Literally, it was just published earlier this month in the European Journal of Sports Science. So, it is fresh. A group of Brazilian researchers took 30 recreational male bodybuilders who had been training for at least three years and divided them into four different groups. The first group only trained with multiple joint exercises. The second group trained with a combination of the same multiple joint exercises, but also added some single joint work. Groups three and four mirrored the training protocols of groups one and two respectively, but those men were also dosed with 600 milligrams of testosterone, as well as 200 milligrams of stenozolol per week. This study lasted eight weeks, uh, both before and after the eight week period. The researchers measured the participants' 10 rep maxes on select exercises, as well as the size of their upper arms. All four groups consumed the same amount of protein per day, which was 2.5 to 3 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight, or about 1.13 to 1.36 grams of protein per pound. Now, it's time for the results. Obviously, when it came to both size and strength, the enhanced participants experienced disproportionately greater gains than the naturals. For example, after the eight-week study period, the natural's bench-pressing strength had improved by approximately 7%, whereas the steroid users had improved by approximately 23%. In other words, those who were given gear experienced more than triple the strength gains on their bench press than those who were drug-free. And the natural's leg-pressing strength had improved by approximately 8 to 9%, whereas the steroid users had improved by approximately 17%. In other words, those who were given gear experienced around double the strength gains on their leg press than those who were drug-free. As for muscle growth, the enhanced participants gained at least double the size compared to the drug-free participants in their biceps and triceps, in both their flexed and relaxed measurements. Unfortunately, the researchers did not measure any other muscles besides the biceps and triceps. Hey, no study is absolutely perfect, but this still gives us something to go on. Now, I want to point out, if you refer back to the results that I had just shared, you will notice that the baseline measurements were similar. Uh, so the massive disparity in outcomes appears to be an effect of doping versus not doping, as opposed to some folks just starting out stronger or bigger than the others. Or even as I had mentioned earlier, consuming more protein than the others. Uh, this study certainly is proving the obvious, but it also provides us with some hard data in just how effective steroid use actually is. And it serves to drive home the deceptive nature of these fake natty fitness professionals who are selling you a lie, or rather, selling you products and services with a lie. As they clearly have a massive advantage over their clean fan base, who they're actively deceiving for a living, uh, who without drugs will never ever achieve the results that they have. At this point, I do want to make it clear that I am not endorsing steroid use, and I'm not saying that as a disclaimer for the purposes of YouTube, uh, but rather from a strong personal viewpoint. Anyone who is very familiar with my work uh, on this channel will know that I preach the natural route for longevity and health always have. I do not personally believe in blatantly risking one's health in the pursuit of size, uh, and strength, and or being ridiculously diced, at least not casually. Professionally speaking, such as with Hollywood actors who need to get jacked uh, quickly for a multi-million dollar role, well, that's their choice. Perhaps to them their career is more important than their long-term term health. Uh, but how many people are actually highly paid professional actors or, say, professional WWE wrestlers or pro football players, etc.? Versus just being your average dude who wants to look good on, say, the beach or have some useful real-world strength and fitness, 
uh, and aren't expecting some massive paycheck for it. In any case, I've done a handful of videos discussing the myriad documented negative health effects from steroid use. Just search my channel content for the word steroids and you will certainly uh, find them. Um, this video was really just for educational purposes, to satisfy curiosity, if you will. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below and don't forget to like and share this video if you found it interesting. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not already. Uh, press the bell button for notifications and check back here weekly as all three avenues will help ensure that you don't miss any new content from me. And check out the video description for links to my products and services as well as my affiliate links uh, such as Amazon and other ways that you can show your support to me and my channel if you genuinely enjoy and get use from what I provide here. And that includes an array of my science-based training and nutrition ebooks, which can help you get results like those seen on my clients pictured here. In fact, purchasing my ebooks is a huge way to show your support. Especially since a lot of my content is instantly demonetized or limited by YouTube upon upload. And on my best month so far this year, I only earned $45.77 in Google AdSense revenue, which equated to about $11.44 per week that month. And I suspect this video will also be immediately demonetized or limited since steroids are the topic, despite the context being education. Uh, such as the cost of being raw, I suppose. So any and all support for my work is appreciated in any way that you are willing or able to provide. So thank you all for that support. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.